G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up the ASUS ROG Strix GL10DH. This particular one has the following specs. Well, first of all, to get it open, I've had to undo, take off the glass panel and undo the spots that were here and the two screws at the back. Once that's off, we can see the specs here. Got a Ryzen 7 2700, 16GB of RAM, a GTX 1660 Ti 6GB and a 512GB NVMe drive. If we have a look inside the machine, we should be able to, with a BIOS update, upgrade the processor to essentially a 5700X or, some, or the equivalent. So I'm assuming ASUS would have had decent support for this board and you'd be able to do that quite easily. Also looking down here, we have a single stick of 16 gig of RAM, 2666. So not exactly fast stuff, but you'd be able to add another 16 gig. Or if you wanted to, to change the processor, you can go some 3600 megahertz RAM in dual channel. That will definitely help with the performance. Looking just here, just out of my camera, if I tilt you guys up, you'll see it. Here we go, we have this bracket along here. According to the ASUS, uh, the ASUS website, this has a 500 watt gold power supply. So you'd be limited in upgrading to something, with, or without changing your power supply, you'd be able to go to something like a RX 6600 or 6600 XT due to the power requirements. You may be able to get away with a 3060, but you'd be right on the requirement of that, if not below the requirements for it. So you may have issues potentially try. You would probably be looking at putting a dual slot graphics card in here, or a dual fan as opposed to a tri-fan. You may get away with a tri-fan, but I think it might be a little bit tight. So looking in here, regarding power, we have one eight and another eight down here. So for power for graphics, we have two, all on a single cable. The power supply itself is fairly generic. And regarding storage, we looked to only have a single NVMe slot underneath the graphics card. I don't believe there's one above it. But also we do have four SATA slots. And we do have a, one spot for a drive, or you might be able to get one drive connected up into here. This looks like a hard drive caddy for a 2.5 inch drive. Um, I'm not really seeing a location to put a 3.5 inch drive though. That is a tad disappointing. If we flip it over this way. You can see there's no real room down here for another drive. As I say that, looks like one can be screwed in down the bottom here. These coals here should correspond to a three and a quarter inch drive. And looking down here for expansion, one SATA, two SATA, three SATA, two Molax, another SATA. So four SATA powers, a floppy, and two Molax on the power supply. Granted that is only a 500 watt power supply, so you may want to upgrade that, and if you do choose to upgrade that, it is all standard fittings. 8 pin, 24 pin, 8 pin, mile axis. So you can use pretty much any power supply you want if you need to upgrade your power supply for your graphics card. So potentially this room, this machine does have a lot of room for upgrades. It does have a 1660 Ti, so that's still not bad. Uh, definitely more powerful stuff available now. But overall, not too bad for the Zeus ROG. Granted, I wouldn't personally go out of my way to buy one of these, but if you've got one, these are the upgrades that you'd be able to do to it. Hope this helps, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.